Hello guys, Wahoo here, back with another video. This time around, we are gonna guide you through the St. Cubesley event, also known as the St. Patrick's event, or the St. Patrick's Day event. It's not only one day, of course, it's 14 days. I'm actually not sure when St. Patrick's Day is, actually, but as you can see right here, it is from today, that's the 12th of March, to the 25th of March as well. So again, 14 days as we are used to. We got an 11-step quest ahead of us, and also we do have the you know daily adventure where you have to do an ore on uh, you know Tuesdays and Wednesdays upgrading your gem. Thursdays it is doing a adventure. You can actually do the ones I have been doing, actually the ones out here in the cursed uh, sky worlds or in the drowned worlds, for example, or in the firelands as well. So when you zone in, there is a little quest where you have to. Uh, Get yourself some gym boxes so if you do get the gym boxes uh, that will count as well on thursdays for that quest as well or you can do some in a club world if you want to do so as well and then of course the one we really want is of course the one on saturdays where we get that double xp potion because why not stack up on those only doing one dungeon is pretty awesome indeed so of course those are back as well so without further ado let's jump into step number one all right, for step number one, all we have to do is go to the Trove Hub and, of course, go over there and join uh, St. Cubesley and actually just talk to him. So that's what we are going to do in this. So not much to do in this step other than just going over here. And there's a big, a big exclamation mark here. And this is the guy we have to talk to. This is St. Cubesley and we are going to interact with him. And he has an inventory as well. As you can see here, you can actually buy, uh, you know, Shamrock Pinatas. You can actually buy uh, Shamrock Pinatas for 20. It is 25,000 and you can only buy seven of them. I'm not sure if this is a... Uh, I think this is a one-time thing. I would not assume it would be daily. Uh, I can just go ahead. Let me just actually for uh, buy this one. And it is actually gone. And you can also buy the Lucky Clovers. You do also get these on Saturdays. and you get, uh, Or it's not Saturdays. Sorry, Sundays. And you get two of them as well. So, yeah, not really much to, to buy this one. I wouldn't buy that one as well. Yeah, so it is a one-time deal. And you buy these as well. And I'm pretty sure with the seven of these is as well. But I'm not going to go ahead and use that because I have a bunch of them. I really don't forget to use them. But if you do want like to get that F extra 50 magic find for one hour, um, I don't really feel like that is worth it for this one here, to be honest. But that's up to you if you want to get that. But you get one uh, for doing the quest on Sunday but that is for step number one let's jump on to step number two all right for step number two we are right where we left off in step number one and all we have to do is go ahead and talk to Cubesley uh, again <laughs> interact with him if I could and buy the lucky stars we need to buy three of them here for step number two so we we're gonna buy three as you can see one there one more and there we go just at Cubesley right here just buy three of these not super expensive so uh, 770 seven uh, flux to buy one of these so that's basically what you have to do for uh, step number two just buy three of the lucky stars and you are done with step number two and we can head into step number three all right for step number three we have to throw one of these lucky stars you actually also get them from uh, doing uh, the quest you can see you actually get the lucky stars so we have to throw one of these so that's why i have five i bought three of them and then i got two for each of the steps but it seems like it increases your magic find as well so if we do go into our character screen here we can go in effects now now we can actually see that our magic find has increased with 25 that's actually 50 if you do have patron so it yeah it is not uh, terrible but um yeah I, of course you need patron to have 50 but 25 is pretty cool so we have to go and you can actually see i'm kind of greenish and it's actually not because of that i can actually go here you can kind of see them Oh, maybe it's just me. <laughs> maybe uh, No, I feel like I'm kind of greenish uh, in some way. Maybe in just in certain uh, angles. I'm not sure. But we have to throw one of these. So we are going to go throw it and maybe hit uh, multiple people if we can go and do so. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw it. And uh, at least I completed the step, but it didn't seem like I increased it. So it might not, you might not have, if it, you can't renew it, that's what I'm, you can't just throw it and then it's going to renew yourself. So you might have to actually, you know, remove this or when it runs out, you have to throw a, another one as well. I could actually go ahead and remove it and then see if I can't use it. If I throw it right on myself. Yes. Okay. So then, then it worked and it lasts for about uh, 300 seconds. So I'm not sure what that is, but yeah. And then you can go ahead and you can just keep buying more if you want to get that extra luck with the 25 
extra magic find. But that's step number three. Just get yourself, throw this one. It doesn't have to hit yourself. You just have to throw it. You can throw it on yourself or somebody else. Just throw it. And that's going to complete step number three. And we can head into step number four. All right, we are ready for step number four. And step number four, you just have to go defeat a luck beast. And with the luck beast, you have to go to either Desert Frontier. You got to go to Neon City Biome or the Monopolis, whatever. The thing that is part of the Neon City Biome or the Rashic Jungle, as I am right now. And as you can see, I went to the one that has the most. So I actually went to uh, here, but you can go all the way to, of course, U11 in a Prime World. So find if you just want to go and do that because do have to defeat a dungeon they are in dungeons so as you can see here when i run up you can see right over here right above my face you can see slay the luck beast so it is inside this dungeon this is the dungeon boss so if i go through all of this right here you can see it's here with the with the cool hat and you just go ahead and defeat that one and that is going to destroy the beast and also going to give you some of this so that is it that's pretty simple you just go ahead and defeat the uh, luck beast in the dungeon so again you just find yourself a, a dungeon when it has that little let me see if i can't go well it doesn't really matter for the step you just have to go upside the dungeon you can see right here and this one also has a luck beast inside of it so when it says of right here what it is sort of you can see what it is and if you go close to uh, this next dungeon right over here it should always oh, also says luck beast okay so most of them are probably luck beast so they're not super rare to get but you just have to for here for step number four all you have to do is get yourself you know that one luck beast just to feed one dungeon it has to say again has to say luck beast right here to for you to get it and yeah just go to dungeons either in neon city biome or desert frontier or in the Jurassic jungle and just go ahead and defeat that one so you might even like pass it without even seeing it but that was step number four we can now head into step number five all right for step number five we are right where we left off in step number four we are going to collect some uh sank oak lockley coins and you do that by defeating the dungeons as we just did before and you can see i already have three that's because we did it from the last step so i'm just going to run through it actually i can see there's some right here so if you see these oh yeah these had two coins in them so if you see those kind of treasure chests they might be just randomly inside the dungeons as well i thought it was going to be only with the boss but we'll see here oh somebody already did it uh without me even knowing it and if they did then they uh, kind of messed up in a way because they didn't do that one or maybe i defeated it without even knowing there was another one right over here uh i don't see anybody near me so i was kind of curious why it actually got uh you know done but we are gonna do this one we're gonna run through it as we did the other one, maybe we can look around for some of these coins, uh, treasure chests. But there is probably going to be some in here when we defeat the boss. Uh, yeah, so there was one when they defeated the regular, uh, you know, uh, chest as we get with items right here. And then we're also going to get them from this one. And that's going to contain coins that had only one of them. But so we need to get 15 of these. So just go around, do dungeons, look for them inside the dungeons as well. Because the coins are going to be important. That's going to be the main thing that we really want. So make sure you look through the dungeon and see if we can get more chests. And that's going to be step number five uh, for doing the coins. So just keep doing it. I'll get in last. There's six of them I need for step number five here. And I'll see you guys in step number six. All right, so for step number six, we have to defeat one of the Flux Beasts now. And these are going to be in three-star dungeons. So I kept going just while I was here and kind of checked it out. If I can find a three-star dungeon, that is, of course, on the map. The uh, big ones right here, these are the small one, one-star ones. These are going to have the uh, Luck Beast. And these are going to, the big ones here, the three-star ones, are going to have the Flux Beast. I don't know if it collides with, you know, the same biomes but you can check it out you just go around check whatever you want and maybe if it doesn't say it does say that right here i know it can't really see it if i go inside this one and actually take off this challenge you can actually say now see that it is does say flux beast right up here so we need to get that one to get the flux beast and not the luck beast i know it's kind of the same thing now it's kind of looks like this and you can see it is right down here so if i go ahead and defeat this one it's also going to spawn that one, but it's also going to spawn the little treasure chest that we are going to use and feed all these guys that want to murder me. And that is going to be uh, for step number uh, step number six to just defeat this uh, flux beast. I just have to get is that the if that's the end, end beast or the end boss you have to defeat. So, yeah, that's step number six. We can now step on to step number seven. 
All right, so for step number seven, as you saw uh, the little pot there, if you saw step number six, you can see the little pot there actually spawned the pot of gold. So if you go here and in not click, of course, the little portal here, but actually the pot of gold. So this one, I think, might spawn every single time you do a three star one. Let's see what actually is trying to hit me. Uh, but the pot of gold, you open that one up and then you have to craft something. So you get, of course, these coins from defeating the dungeons as we did uh, before. As you can see, these coins are uh, from, or not from defeating the dungeon, sorry. I mean, uh, but let me see if I can't find this. Whatever is shooting at me is, oh, it's the machine thing. Is, never mind, they won't kill me. <laughs> but uh, these coins, of course, you get these again from the, the treasure uh, chest that was there. Not the regular chest, but the other ones that we saw in the previous steps. These are gonna have the coins. And that's why they are essential because they're actually going to give you the loops and they're also going to give you the primal loops. And of course, also the builder focus if you want to do so. There is also Bound Brilliance, which is really, really nice. This is a daily craft. So you can do this once a time, uh, one time a day. So you can craft all these things. I'm not sure how many you need. You need three, six, nine. Uh, this is going to be 14, 14 and seven. That is going to be 21. And then another 21, that's 28. So 28 coins you do have to farm before you go and get this one. Well, not before, but you, you can do a three star. I'm pretty sure this is gonna spawn again. I think, I don't know if it's a guaranteed every time at the three star, but you it, it spawned the first time I did a three star. So it's not gonna be super rare. And then you just need a 28 to do this one as well. You can also get the one if you need all the recipes. This is from 2022. So if you are way back from there, you don't need to get these as well. There's also the banner, you need 50 for this one. And you can also get this one or this one, which is a few things, but we'll talk about the fragments of luck when we come to that as well. But this one you can actually put down in your cornerstone or in your club world, and it can give, actually give you some extra magic find it. This is around all year, so you can get this all year round. And we actually have one in our club world, and you can get this one as well. So it's gonna cost you the fragments of luck. We'll talk about them when we get to that step. But this one is 50 of these, and this is gonna, I don't know how many recipes they are, um, but you can just keep making them until you don't have enough. And again, this is gonna spawn all the time, but the daily crafts is basically so you know you have to get 28 of these coins uh, at least a day to get all these crafts as well. So we have to do one of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the primal one just because I actually kind of like the primal one. So when I go here, uh, you can see I can't craft this one again, even though I have enough, so I cannot do that. But that's also gonna complete me the step number uh, I might actually also get this one because the loops are pretty nice as well. I think that's the only thing I need. And also dragon coins is pretty awesome. You only get one though. That's kind of low. You get two of the, these ones. One of these, one of these, one of these. So kind of not crazy, but the, these at least this, at least do the, the, the primal one and the loop one, I think. At least the primal one. The primal one is, is amazing. But I'm going to go ahead and craft this one as well. So I get those daily crafts in as well. So I'm going to go out there before... You keep shooting at me. But yeah, that was step number seven. Now we can head into step number eight. All right, guys, for step number eight, we have to bait the old lucky stone. That's something new. I'll show you guys all you have to do with it. But there is a few steps to it inside the step, I guess. But we're going to show you how you are going to do it. Before we find the stone, we do need five of the washed tater tarts. And you can get those from the vegetable sink. As you can see here, it's going to cost you some tater tarts, some glim, and some flux. I need five of them, so I'm just going to go ahead and make five. It's not going to complete the step. We need it for baiting the feast that's going to be at the stone. You can also buy this in the hub, or you can also buy the extra meat thing that you also need. That you need to get from either, uh, you get it from the step. Uh, let me show you, that was not that one. You get it from the step. As you can see, you need this one, Luck Beast Hunch. I'm not sure if it drops from the Luck Beast either, but you can buy more in the hub, I'm pretty sure. I think I saw that as well. I know you can buy the tarts. I'm not sure if you can buy the meat now that I'm thinking about it, but at least you can buy the tarts if you want to do so. But if you just want to make it, you just want to wash them yourself, then you'll need the tater tarts that is from gardening. And you need some of the gardening and then you craft yourself five because you need to have that for the stone before you head to the stone and get it as well. So I'm going to wash five of these and then we're going to head into the hub and I'll show you guys where you can buy the wash ones. And maybe we can get that one, but you should get it from the step, the previous step, as you saw right here. You do get it from the previous step, so you are going to have one. But if you need more of them, uh, I'll figure out how you are going to do it. I'm pretty sure you can get it from there, but uh, I'll see what uh, you kind of how you get it because... I'm not sure right now, but we'll see when I get to the hub.
All right, we are now in the hub. And if we go right over to Cusp, you can see I can buy the wash one. It's 10,000 per, but you only need five for the quest here. So if you do have the flux, you can just go ahead and do that. Or you can buy some tarts on the marketplace as well. Not the washed ones. You do have to, you can't buy washed ones, uh, but you can, you know, get the unwashed ones. And you can then I should go to the West of the Sink, which is also next to here. And the thing I was looking at is, of course, this one. You can donate this one. Don't do that. Don't do, donate it, but you can see you can get it from here. So let me see. Oh, it is from defeating Luck Beast and from Flux Beast in the uh, dungeons, as it says right here, from Neon City Biome and Desert Frontier and also Jungle. So you just get it randomly as well. So I was just unlucky while doing the thing I needed to do and uh, not getting it. So you can actually just farm them like that. But this is what I looked. This is what I like found or what my memory jogged when I looked at this. And I, oh, I think you could buy it from here. So that's what I thought I was gonna do but anyways that is what uh, don't do that don't use this one because we're gonna use it and don't uh, don't use it anywhere else because we are going to use it in the uh, duck stone that we are gonna find right now so I'm gonna find you find a stone and see you guys when I find one all right so I did find you oh lucky stone you can see there was oh I can't see it on the map anymore but there was one right up here when I spawned in and then there was one down here so I don't think they're super common when I did it before, they were pretty close to each other. When I did before, that's when uh, I basically went to this step. It actually lighted up right next to each other. There was two right next to each other. So I think it's all random when you are going to get it. But we are going to interact with the O Lucky Stone. And then you see here, we need one of these uh, Lucky Beast uh, meats, which again, you can get from the defeating them or we can get it from the previous step and then the washed ones and then some flux. So we're going to go ahead and craft this one and make a, a bait. So we are going to bait, and oh, there we can see there's actually things of spawning next to each other. Oh, they are all uh, doing stuff right next to it. That's pretty cool. So they keep spawning, and not sure what they are. There's a lot of quests. There's a lot of marks going on here, and they just, I don't know how long they are going to spawn. So we do have to collect some luck snakes, which we are going to do in the next step so yeah it spawned for a while and i'm gonna go pretty quickly over to step number nine so this was step number eight see you in step number nine all right that was before step number eight but now we're doing step number nine and i messed up i actually uh, you can see all the snakes are gone and i didn't know how to pick them up because i didn't read what was going on so before you uh, you know do all this uh, make sure you do have your the lucky stars with you because that is what you're going to use when you are going to do it. I'm not sure if you even can do it again, but we'll see if I can feast. But I did get a, some more wished, uh, washed uh, tater tarts and also got a new meat. So I do have the meat and the tart. So I can actually do the another bait. So they should be, but they should actually, you have to throw your lucky stars on them. I didn't know that. So I didn't know how to pick them up. So I was running around, uh, you know, shooting at them. I was using my interact button. Nothing was working. So uh, we're going to hit a go. And again, we are going to, Oh, so yeah, okay, so this has been, uh, you know, used, so we do have to find a, another one. So, uh, yeah, we are going to go and find another one that is not being used, and I'll see you guys when I get one. All right, so I did find a, another one. Of course, this one do not have the plate on top of it, so the other one did have. So we are going to go ahead and craft. You can also see now I can craft, so I'm going to go ahead and craft, and that is going to lure the um, boys in so we are gonna get the boys hopefully we'll get some snakes as well there is you there we go there is some snakes and maybe we can get them all on top of each other that would be amazing so i can hit more of them together so let's hopefully i'll get enough snakes and that's enough snakes that's all the snakes I actually got exactly five i got a lot more next the last time so i'm gonna go and throw these ones as you can see oh it actually has a pretty large range which is really really nice so I got, of course, the five uh, snakes as well. So now we uh, are done with a step number uh, nine, just completing that by doing this one. So you can see uh, if I saw previous step number eight, I had a lot more actually spawning for us. I, I think it's random how many you are going to get. And I think it's something to do with the spawning point as well. Like this is part of a dungeon. So maybe this doesn't have spawning points here. So I think it's random when you are going to get it. And now you can see I can't use it again. I don't have the materials either, but... It, it's now it's basically done so now you have to go and get yourself the other one but the lucky one i actually thought i could use two lucky stars to to get all of them but it was big enough to actually hit all five so that was step number nine now we get into step number ten 
All right, for step number 10, we are back in the hub and we have to send the Lux uh, snakes to the big beyond, to the farm upstairs, I guess. We have to send them away. So we go ahead to the, like I said, in the hub and we go next to uh, Cubesley and we are going to go over here into the mini pot of luck and that's where you are going to donate some stuff. So it takes five of these uh, bagged Lux snakes for a donation and there is a chance that you are going to get those fragments of luck. The same thing if you send some of these coins and also send some of these luck beast, uh, whatever these are, uh, luck beast meats, they are gonna be there and you have a chance of getting some of these. And that's of course, again, for eight, there's eight different of these uh, random uh, Cubesley titles. There are eight of them. They don't give any mastery or anything like that, but you can flex on your friends for it. Then you've got the unlucky star. It is a 20 ma mastery a uh, little bomber royale skin and the same thing is with the again with the uh, bigger bomb i think it is uh, like well, the one the sticky bomb i think that one I, i'm pretty sure this is the smaller one and this is the bigger one it's gonna again be the fragments again and then you're gonna have of course the allies these two allies only give you 10 mastery each this one uh, this mount gives you 50 mastery and this one is give you 100 mastery so if you're only going to collect 50 of these fragments here over the course of the whole event, then you should 100% save it all for this one as well. Because even if you get all of these three here, which is, of course, this is 50 as well. And this is only 50 mastery points. This is 100 mastery points. So again, if you only get 50 of these, definitely save it and get the luck snake here the sorceress that's also one that can fly by the way so get this one at least i'm not sure how much the skins are but not very much either so i'm pretty sure it's like 10 mastery is the same as these ones or maybe 20 it's not too much uh allies always get amazing when they are 50 mastery each and also of course amounts are also amazing when they get to uh, 100 mastery or above then they are amazing to do. So if you only get 50, get this one as well. But we are gonna go ahead and do, you know, uh, donate because that's part of the uh, quest here to donate our snakes. So we're gonna go ahead and craft that one. And uh, we did not get any of the other one. Oh, we did get the fragment from, of course, the, the just doing the event, but we can go into here and you see I only got one of them. So actually putting that one in did not do anything. Let me see if I can craft again uh oh i did get the fragment of uh, luck there of the craft so yes so that actually you know this one actually gave me another fragment so yeah you can go ahead and it's not so it's not guaranteed i think that's great i think the possibility should be like above like 80 percent or something like that like almost every craft you get you're gonna get it but i kind of like it there's a little bit of randomness to it so you can't like you completely know how many you need i, I like that but it should be like every at least every like a lot of the crafts at least and then sometimes you don't get one you know because these coins are pretty easy to get there's a lot of them uh, i didn't really farm and i get like and you of course it costs you eight but i think it's pretty and also you can get these and you don't really need this uh, if you don't want to you can just do dungeon and just donate these and these might actually be have a higher chance to actually give you the fragments so instead of just having them to end up in your inventory and never get used because you don't really do want to do you can just donate them and then you have a chance of getting these and maybe just getting the titles whatever so i think i, I like this uh, system indeed so that was step number 10 let's head into step number 11. all right guys for step number 11 we have to find sir o lucky and he is going to be in any biome that is in a prime world so it can't be, of course, out here in the elemental worlds, this one, this one, this one, or of course not in the geo top side either, but it has to be inside some of this, of course, right here, the inner circle, if you can see it like that. I think it's above Uber one, but uh, I know it's not like at least not in the lowest of the lowest world. So it, depending on where you are, just go to whatever world you are and just run through it. And then suddenly you are going to find this one as well. So very nice that it's going to be an invader that's going to be a little annoying. So I'm just going to go ahead and defeat him real quick so we don't get disturbed anymore. But you can see right there behind me is where Sir Olucky is. And you can't see it on the map right now what it looks like. But So I'm just going to go ahead and complete it. So I'm just going to go ahead and interact with him as you can see right there. So I'm just going to go complete the step because uh, this one is not going to go away. So it's going to be quite hard to see. That would be amazing if it actually would. Oh man. Okay. That kind of sucks. Oh, but you can see it right over there. Maybe it, uh, you can see there's a guy on top of it, but it kind of looks like a yellow dungeon with kind of like horns on it right here. So it just kind of yellow ish. Just bear in mind that you can see this exclamation mark. Just 
don't really look at that one. I'm trying to zoom in it as, as much as I can. It'd just be amazing. What if I just gonna relock two seconds? Ah, yes, there we go. Now you can better see what it looks like. So it looks like this yellow one. And basically what it is, is that you gather three people and then you can complete this one. So is it actually a dungeon? Uh, but you just keep gather three people and then you complete the dungeon and there's gonna be a thing you can do. So, but now he's actually, oh lucky, he's actually using it. So how you are going to see him, remember uh, a few things to see him. So going all the way back to when we defeated a three-star dungeon for the Flux Beast, uh, that there was this pot that we had to craft something in. And then we got actually got a buff. So if you see here under my effects, I have the Oh Lucky a buff, which lasts a long time. So I think it lasts like two hours or like an hour at least. And if you don't have this buff, you can just go to a three-star dungeon. It's going to spawn one of those pots. And then you do have to craft something again. And then you get this buff. You also can get it uh, re uh, done if you not you want to redone it do it uh, then you just have to craft something so go to a free star dungeon do the pot uh, make sure that you craft something and then you get the the oh lucky buff here and then you can see him at here so if you go to one of these and you don't have this buff so go check your effects if you don't have the oh lucky buff then you cannot see him you cannot interact with him so you can see interact with him then you can actually buy some stuff from him. he actually has uh, a fishing rod he actually has a mount a buddy and also an ally and also uh, another ally you can buy from these and also another i think this is a fishing pole as well alpha angler kind of seems like it is as well and then you can buy some more lucky stars if you want to do so as well but you got to get all of these as well so i'm not sure what all of these are going to give let me see uh maybe see if i just saw a buddy let's see uh oh i already have the buddy mount so i can actually buy more of these i see so I have the bodyguard that's going to give you 10 and this is going to give you 50. So they're not super attractive. Uh, let's see if I can get the, if I already have the other one. I think I have, but I'm pretty sure it's just because I don't have enough for it. So let me see if I can't find that one. Oh, I do have already have it. It's also 10, so it's not super amazing. Uh, let me go ahead and get uh, my fishing poles out. Uh, not go in there, uh, you know, completely. So I do have the one that is going to be the 20 mastery points and also the alpha is going to be 20 mastery points. So that's sort of like what all the other ones are. So these are a little bit more worth it, these two, if you don't have them. But these other ones are not it's insane. Uh, again, I would save all of mine for the mount that we talked about before. But because it's also not super easy to get this guy, well, you just have to craft something, but... On the other hand, then you have to find one of these and then you have to craft it. And yeah, the other one in the hub is always going to be there. So I would just go ahead and do that. Maybe you can buy these and sell them on the marketplace. I don't know if they are craftable or uh, so on. I'm going to save mine because, again, I do really want to have the other mount. So I'm just going to save them. And usually these go down in price pretty quickly. Um, but we'll see. I don't know, again, if they are. If Usually when they're limited amid that mount, they it's because you can put them on the uh, marketplace as well. So actually, oh, I also got a title and I got, of course, the also the bomb skin that I also got from there. I'm pretty sure if I go to recently acquired, uh, not equipped, that's not it. <laughs> recently acquired, yeah, there we go. There's the Bomber Rail skin. So we could do some Bomber Rail stuff with that one as well. So anyways, that was the, uh, the event. That was the 11 step we got. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, pretty super uh, amazing event not so much for just defeating a bunch of dungeons or whatever there's a little bit here and there but overall i think i like this one more also because it's 11 steps and i like more steps uh, maybe a little bit more to the steps but just not like defeat a million dungeons and then hey that was step number three right like that's not really fun and inter interactive this is more fun to kind of solve riddly kind of stuff but not over riddly i guess puzzles and stuff like that i guess in a way but anyways hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye